So how about some irony in the garden? A plant that can fit anywhere in it, but they can't decide where it fits in books. It's exactly the case with Camacyprus newtcatensis, fun to say, Vandenacker. So where does all this confusion start with where this plant fits in, my tall, narrow, slender friend next to me here? Well, these plants, their native range is somewhere as far north as Alaska and then into Northern California, and the name Nootkatensis comes from the Nootka Sound in British Columbia. Now that's only part of the debate. The other part is, is it a cedar, a cypress, a true cypress, a true cedar, and what exactly its botanical name should be. Now, unless you're prone to nomenclature debates and good, healthy arguments on where a plant belongs, don't worry about it. Just worry about this. It's one of the coolest plants you can possibly have in your garden. The thing that makes it so unique is its extremely narrow weeping habit one to two feet at the most in all of its upward growth, and at the base it has a skirt of about two to three feet wide, and even that can be pruned down to keep it even tighter. After 10 years, it'll be between about 10 to 12 feet and just narrow. When you add a plant like this to the garden, it immediately becomes a conversation piece for everybody that visits, and here's the other plus to it. No matter if you have an extremely small garden where you're worried about something outgrowing its space, you don't have to worry about this with Vandenacker. It only goes up, not out so it's really versatile for nearly any size garden that you might have. And another feature that goes missed by Vandenacker is its beautiful green spray foliage that it has, and as it starts to put out growth in the spring, the new foliage is a little bit of a lighter color, and the older growth is dark, so it almost looks like sea foam coming out of it in the spring when it starts to grow. Vandenacker can be grown from about zone five to about zone seven by USDA zone standards, but the biggest thing to remember about this plant is the great ability to fit in nearly anywhere. And that's what makes it ironic because we can't decide where it fits botanically, but you can definitely decide where it fits in your garden. <laughs>